Accountant Greg Garcia, who did. I was informed that he entered into a legal agreement with uh, Ms. Lisa Nakpil, who he apparently believes has all the rights to the song. But then again, uh, the controversy has reached stages which probably, to me, are uh, overshadow the, the song and the rest. And so I've instructed Mr. Garcia that if uh, an honorable principal settlement cannot be had, with Mr. Rico Blanco and others, I'm ordering him to pull out that. So um, you're going to pull out the, the ad? If we cannot get into an arrangement or a good uh, principle of the settlement to settle the controversy once and for all, the controversy itself is not worth the ad. So I have instructed Mr. Garcia if he cannot get into a uh, principle and fair settlement or agreement with uh, Mr. Rico Blanco to pull out that. Okay. I respect all the parties involved. I'm not one to get involved in a controversy about a song of which probably people feel a lot of passion about. I respect all the artists and so that controversy is not worth the life it is taking on. And so if there is no agreement, no settlement, I'm ordering them to pull it out. Uh. Um, this is in line also with your past campaign. So you're following that. The, the yeah, and I want to reach out to, to Rico Blanco. No? Yes. We can talk things, uh, talk things over, settle issues or whatnot. I mean, obviously, sometimes, you know, we, we, we get, we, we put up the battering rams, or we put up the ramparts over our rights, our uh, violations of rights. But at the end of the day, it's a working relationship. And, and uh, I would like to you know, take this initiative to uh, invite all those involved to sit down on one table and settle it. If not, I'm going to pull out the yeah. other. Uh, do you have plans of having an alternative music? Well, like naturally, there, there, there are plans in that, uh, to, to that effect. Okay, so that's settled now. Um, we'll start with the next batch of questions. Uh, let's start with Junior. Okay, first. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they've been coming in a long time. Okay. Yeah. Um, as part of the candidate, you've been familiar with a lot of questions on how you will be, what's your platform, what is your, yeah. um, what's, it, what's your strategy. Uh, my first question, uh, I was asked some candidates, is what was the latest book you read, and what are your favorite books? The, le the latest book I've been reading, I forgot the title. Actually, it's called the uh, Asian Miracle, I think. Asian Miracle of Asia, I believe. It was given to me by Mr. Bert Hofer, the World Bank uh, uh, executive. Although I read a few pages about it, it cites the story of development of Indonesia, it cites uh, stories of China's development, uh, and it says that why the next boom area, growth area, is Asia once again. Uh, that's the latest book I, I've been reading, and one is The Slingshot and the Stone. It's about uh, insurgencies and fourth generation warfare, uh, 4G warfare. Uh, but I have not had time to read more than a few pages because there's a policy debate once again. There's a lot of information I have bone up on. Did you read a lot of history books? Or I used to read a lot of history books, but unfortunately time is not on my side. Particularly after the age of 40, when you need you need some set of you know spectacles to read or read. <laughs> yeah, uh, my second question would be. Uh, you know, I, I read like I eat. <laughs> I have to read two to three books at a time because it gets tiring to stick to one. So you you read on a heavy topic, you, you switch to a cookbook or a book about food or whatnot, then you switch to the heavy topic once again. Do you, do, you, um, or do, you read, do you listen to audio books or any of the e-books as well? I tried, but I don't, uh, I don't like audio books. I listen to music, though, okay. a lot. Yeah. What's your type of music? Beach House, uh, of course, 70s and 80s music. Uh, and I like River Maya, of course. <laughs> 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 I like Itchy Worms. <laughs> I like Propiani Edgar, especially when I met the lead singer, Vinci. Oh. Um, I'm actually a employee also. It's, uh, well, you know, it's, our, it's my day job. 
and in that, uh, where? Uh, for a financial times. Okay. But um, I read it every day. Oh, good. I have a no subscription. I, I started that habit in Harvard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, my, my question is: most of us in the corporate world, or or most of us employed, would ask this question: What would a Gibo presidency give for people in the corporate or those who are so actually work in a company? Well, right now, you know. Uh, nobody can say that there's going to be a direct effect of any presidency on the corporate world because you manage the public sector and the aim and the vision is to manage the public sector to be an effective link for an appropriate or inviting investment climate so that there will be velocity of transactions both domestic and foreign within the country starts with good governance transparency and the number one reason According to several experts, that's why the Philippines is not competitive, is there is no long-term infrastructure plan. Public infrastructure is one of the most essential things that the government can do. It's investments in physical infrastructure, in technical infrastructure, and even within its own processes, the managerial infrastructure that has to deal with it. And it's quite difficult. I'll give you an example. The Skyway. Why was it until Bikutan only, and how many years did it take for the connection to, to be reconstructed or the construction to be resumed once again? That's an unacceptable length of time. And why? Because priorities shifted. But these are long-term germinating projects. I, that's why it's a BOT, actually. It's a 25-year project, and yet you, you can follow through. So synergies are lost. Uh, uh, economies are lost so uh, the, the, that's one thing that we have to deal with secondly it's peace and order not only peace but order order meaning to say you have to really have reasonable rules and regulations so that's easy to be followed in the same vein as you have effective enforcement thirdly maybe in corporate uh, matters we are one of we are a jurisdiction in Southeast Asia with the highest corporate tax regimes probably a bit of uh, corporate uh, relief maybe in, in the offing if we can uh, determine that the deficit gap will not widen appreciably. I mean we have to do a lot of things for both FDI and domestic direct invest domestic investments to grow. Secondly, ease of transportation for, for those in the corporate world is a problem. I mean, a lot of physical exhaustion uh, happens and a lot of time is lost in commuting daily. There has to be a, a solution which the government is trying to do through the seamless interconnection between NLEX and SLEX, uh, the C5 extension, the C6 and the like. But we have to follow up in the light of the fact that there is a 208, I'm talking corporate now, Metro Manila wise, but there's a vision of spreading uh, the corporate world regionally on the basis maybe of enhanced autonomy for certain regions that they may be given the power perhaps in the future to charter their own companies so that there be competition within the country for the best investment decisions. But Metro Manila alone, we face a 208 billion reconstruction bill. Because safety is an issue in Metro Manila, particularly after seeing what happened last year in Ondoy, Pepe, and Ramil, and Santi. Uh, the safety of employees and executives is an issue because a lot of those victimized were middle level and top level executives. Even the founder of Smart, I think, uh, unfortunately he passed away when his wall fell. So uh, that is another area where we have to uh, focus a lot of attention on where to get the 208 billion to rebuild Manila and to, to make it safe, no? like the construction of uh, the Paranaque Spillway so that Laguna de Bay drains properly. Because no less than 20 rivers drain not merely water but mud into Laguna de Bay every, every, every time there's rain. So uh, those are some of the public initiatives that can be done for generation of investments. But of course, there's also the crucial ask of a president of promoting the country.